Hey YouTube, really simple video today. I'm gonna show you how to edit with the 10s Max. No other apps are required, just the photo app itself. Let's jump right in. Okay, so we're gonna be using Nova as my test subject. We're just gonna use her. We're gonna have her sit right in front of the Christmas tree as we take a portrait. Okay, so first thing we do is we open up our phone app. So we have photo, and then we're gonna switch over to portrait mode. All right, come here. And sit. Oh, come over, come on over. There you go, good girl, sit there. Okay, so there's our portrait mode. Nobody look right here. Boom, snap it off a couple. Oh, that's a good one. There you go, good girl, good girl. So here's the photo of Nova I'll be editing today. If you go to the top right up here and click edit, it'll pop up and now we are in the editing section of the app. So if you go down here and you can mess with the aperture of the picture and that just makes the depth of field smaller or larger. So I want to keep it kind of small. I like 3.2. Yeah, I like 3.2. Now the ba basic goal is we're just going to make this as easy as simple as possible. So once you're done adjusting the aperture, we're going to go over to the presets button, which is the second from the left. These just pop up quick little presets of uh, examples of how it will look. I like vivid cool. Let's just see what else we got. Dramatic, dramatic cool. Ooh, I like that. All right, let's go with dramatic cool. So you can hold your finger on it and it'll show before and after. I already like how what it's doing. It's adding that blue to the shadows to really make, really make Nova pop more. So I'm going to stick with that because I think that looks pretty good to me. Um, I think what we're going to do now is we're just going to go over to the next icon, the tool icon, and we're just going to adjust the light of it. So you can get pretty intricate right here. If you click that down arrow, it pops up brilliance, exposure, highlights, shadows, brightness, you name it. And you can just go through each one and fool around with it. So once you click, I clicked on brilliance and I can just scroll around to see if I want it brighter or darker. And I actually like it a little bit darker. And then I can just scroll up to the next one, exposure. Fool around with this some more, a little bit of that. Scroll up again, highlights, and that's that's the bright white on her face. Turn that down just a bit. Up to shadows. Mm, I'm gonna darken it just a bit too, make it more contrasty. Brightness, good. Contrast, add in a little bit. So again, before and after, you just hold down your finger. I think it's coming along pretty nice. And then what we can do now is I like to go to color and same thing. There's only three options though. Saturation, we'll start with that. Just going to make her pop just a little bit. Add a little tiny bit more contrast. And the cast, I actually like where it is right now, so I'm not going to fool around with it. And it's that simple. It looks great. And once you're done, you just press done. And let's just see how we did. So on the left is the before, on the right is the after. Uh, honestly, I think it's a big difference and I really just think it's a quick way to make your photos look even better. So it's that simple guys, you just use portrait mode, you can just edit right inside the edit app on the photos and uh, you just use the presets, again, use your, uh, adjust the light, the color as needed, but usually the presets itself will give you a nice solid start that will definitely improve the photo quality. Thanks for watching YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.